Hello and welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive, I fit this out 2020 McLaren 600 LT. Based on the 570S, the 600 LT is a hardcore, long tail version of the 570S. Under the bonnet is a 3.8 litre twin turbo 441 kilowatt V8 engine. And weighing just 1300 kilos, a 600 LT will do the zero to 100 sprint in a dowdy 2.9 seconds. And being a spider, this roof here folds away into this little compartment under here, allowing you to take in the full experience of that screaming V8 and allows you to blow your toupee off into the next dimension. But I hear you say, doesn't all of this extra mechanical stuff and extra strengthening and all the other things that are associated with the spider affect the performance? Well, the short answer is no. Despite all of this, the Spider only weighs 50 kilos more than the coupe thanks to its carbon fibre tub chassis. So you'd be better off just taking a little bit less luggage or maybe losing a few kilos to maintain the performance. In any event, let's get this 600 LT on the road and see what she'll do. black with a fully Alcantara line black interior. This 600 LT looks a business. And with front lift kit, LT exhaust, carbon fibre everywhere including upgrade one and two, carbon fibre door mirrors, tunnel interior, trim side skirts, intake splitter, racing seats plus so much more. As well as ultra lightweight alloys and ceramic brakes, every option that could be ticked has been. But let's be honest, that's all garnished to what is meant to be one of the most incredible cars in the world. So, is it? Well, short answer, <laughs> yes. Despite the fact the 600 LT is based on the 570S, over 23% of the components in the car are new. And with more liberal use of carbon fiber, the 600 LT is 96 kilograms lighter than the car on which it is based, despite the increase in size. And with a top speed of 315 kilometers per hour with the roof down, there can be no doubt that this answers all the questions Ferrari and Lamborghini could ever ask. Like I bored you with all the Friday drives we've done McLarens in, I've said over and over again that they're often not my first choice in terms of supercars. But the more and more I'm driving the latent McLarens, the more and more they're winning me over. And I'm at the point now where I can quite comfortably say that I would have a McLaren over a Ferrari or Lambo, any equivalent Ferrari or Lambo. That's how good these are. They've now got character, they've got soul, they've got a joie de vie, which they didn't really have in the first instance. And this one, despite the fact it's twin turbo, well, I mean a 488 is, I guess, but it pops, it snarls, it crackles, it does all sorts of interesting things, it's fun. And I think that's the essence of it. It's now a fun car where some, in some respects they weren't that fun previously. And the other beautiful thing about McLaren's is just the build quality and just the solidity of it. You don't feel like this thing's ever going to just sort of break or explode into flames like supercars normally do. And it's a car that you feel confident to actually drive hard and not sort of worry about. And you also get the sense that this car will just go on and on and on. It's not the kind of car that you sort of think, ooh, I better put it in the garage. I reckon you could comfortably put 250, 300,000 Ks on one of these things and it would still feel as fresh and tight as it does today with just seven and a bit thousand Ks. So if you're looking for one of the hottest supercars on the market today, then come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy a pristine example with all the options, just 7,194 kilometres from you and with factory warranty till June 2023 today. We'll see you next week. Oh, <laughs>